Hi everybody, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to talk about how to do gapping technique for the upper segment. So if it's a pain, pain on the left side, we'll have him on his right side. The bad side is up, and Bob's side is up. This is the patient who tolerates extension, does better with extension. We're just trying to gap the joint. We're not trying to up glide or down glide, just gapping it. What I want you to do is we're going to put him in this position. Okay, what I want you to do is to pick this leg up forward. The problem with the way down this is now is that as I push, it's going to hit the table. So what I'll do is I'll take this pelvis and I'll push that forward. Okay, so now you'll see it just hanging there and just hanging over that table. So when I push, there's room. Take the upper part. This arm goes back. Rotate them back so just so the pelvis starts to move. This is a very non-specific technique, but effective. So what you're going to do is this hand just kind of holds it there. This hand goes on top of the trochanter. And it's going to do is going to push onto that. You're going to take up the slack. Okay, just hold that spot, and the glide is down 45 degrees down his femur. So this is a nice one, just more of a hold. You can do over time. You can do 30 seconds to a minute. Just trying to gap that upward joint. Again, we don't know which specific segment, but we're doing a general technique. And then we're going to hold. When we come back off, we're going to come back off slowly and kind of unwind him and the leg goes up. All right, so good technique, again, if you want to just get gapping for the lumbar spine for extension. Okay, it's Rob Shapiro for Technique Peak.